Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today I just wanted to hop in here and do a quick little tag video that was suggested by one of you guys. Um, I believe your name was Anna, if I'm not mistaken, and um, she asked me to do the Coach Superlatives tag, um, which was started, I believe, by Noble Strength. So I will leave the original video down below um, so, you, so you guys can see her video too. Um, and I'm also going to tag two of my friends as well. So the first one is going to be um, Agent Bag Review, and I will leave her channel down below, and then also Amy Elizabeth as well. Um, so yeah, I will go ahead and dive right into um, this tag. Also, just full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as an essay. Um, so all the bags on my channel are from my own personal collection, and I'm just here to share with you guys my personal love for handbags. Also, if you guys like these kind of videos, um, do consider liking and subscribing because all I do on my channel is just talk about handbags and stuff. So if you guys like handbags and stuff, um, do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram too for more handbag related content. And for this tag video, there is nine different categories. So I believe it's like your most used bag, least used bag, um, your most artistic, complimented, practical, splurge purchase, um, admired, and ladylike and another one too. Um, so I'll try and go in the order that Noble Strength had it in her video, but um, I probably uh, will forget the order and go out of order. So yeah, um, just uh, don't mind me. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and um, show you guys um, the first category. Category number one is your most used bag. And um, for this, I thought of like, um, the overall style just because I do have the style in multiple colors and that is the Rogue 25. Um, I picked the Beechwood Rogue 25 to like represent all of my Rogue 25s um, just because I feel like this is the most neutral color of all the bags in my Rogue 25 collection. Um, I feel like this neutral color really goes well with a lot of stuff. Um, I'm somebody who dresses very casually, um, other than going to like work and stuff. Um, but in, like my everyday life, I'm a very casual dresser. And I feel like this bag goes pretty well with a lot of stuff. Um, I feel like the Rogue 25 is a, you know, a, it's like a like an in-between bag like it's not super dressy but it's also not like super duper casual either um like a tote bag or a hobo I feel like it does look fairly put together for every day um and I also find this bag really great to use too because it does have three compartments and I feel like that's definitely the main reason why I use this bag like so much in my everyday life um so you have two open sections here and then the center zip compartment um, I feel like I start my day off with a lot of items in the center zip compartment, but by like the end of the day when I get back home, I feel like all my stuff is just like in between these two compartments because I get too lazy to like put them back in here. Um, so I don't know, that just might be me. Um, but yeah, I feel like the Rogue 25 is definitely my most used bag um, since I also have a ton of them in the back too. So yep, there's that. And then category number two is your least used bag. And I'm going to have to say my Rogue Toe in Heather Gray is my least used bag. Um, this is just a bag I don't actively reach for. And I think that might be partly due to the color gray. Um, I'm somebody who um, doesn't really, I don't know, like have like the color gray in my wardrobe a lot, which is funny because I'm wearing a gray shirt right now. Um, but I feel like in my everyday life accessories wise, like I don't really gravitate towards the color gray. Um, so I think in my collection, I only have three or four gray handbags in total. And I think one of them is like a metallic, like silver bag. So that one doesn't really even count. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like the color gray might be like hard for me to style, even though it is a really good neutral though. As you can see, um, like on camera, it does look really good like this bag but I just don't know why um and the other thing too I might say is that this is also like a tote style um it is a very large bag as you can see on the inside is just one large open compartment and mine is the older model too so uh, mine came with the extra little pouch in the, instead of the zip pocket um but as you can see it is just one large open compartment and if I'm being honest in my everyday life I don't need to carry stuff like to, I don't have enough stuff to fill this bag up. So I feel like every time I'm carrying this bag, I feel insane because it would literally be like enough items to actually fill it with a wristlet. And then I would just put this wristlet in here and just carry that and then maybe like my phone. So I just, I don't know. I feel weird like carrying this bag with so little items maybe. So that might be it. So other than that, I'm like rambling. So um, there is that for my least um, used bag. 
Category number three is your most complimented bag. And I'm gonna say my most complimented bag is this cute bag right here, which is the Coach Dylan 23 crossbody um, with Rexy on it. And this is from the older collection. So I know there's like a Dylan collection that was out for about two years and that was for the men's line. This was for the women's collection, I think temporarily for like um, two years ago, back in 2017. And I feel like this bag definitely is my most complimented bag because as you can see on the front, there is a large blue dinosaur on it. Um, Rexy is just so cute and adorable on this bag. I feel like it looks like she's like skipping along um, in life. It's just so cute. And I feel like this bag always like catches people off guard too because they don't expect, you know, like a large blue dinosaur on a purse. Um, so I feel like that is like a conversation starter to a lot of things and people are like, oh my gosh, I love your bag. Um, so every time I use this bag, I always get like a compliment, um, from the bag, um, itself with like Rexy on it or like the strap detail, just because this one has the really unique leather link detail, um, which is like the tri-colored mixed together. So it does look really cool overall, like with the whole, um, leather link strap and Rexy together. It just looks, I don't know, super cool and different. Um, but this bag is also cool too because on the inside you wouldn't expect it but it does even have a really cute little kiss lock pocket as well so um, I kind of wish more of like the larger crossbodies have this kiss lock pocket like I know not a lot of us use it but I feel like it's just a really cute detail um, so yeah that is my most complimented bag so category number four is your most artistic bag and that definitely goes to uh, my black swinger shoulder bag with the um, coach forever embroidery on it and this one's really cool because I did um, work with an artist to help me embroider this bag so it was like over zoom and it was cool because um, she helped me like lay out the embroidery and stuff and she helped me select um, which um, the little motifs are really cute so on this bag, um, you'll see I have the rainbow up here, my initials, and a thunderbolt. I have a cute little martini glass and then the word twice written on the front. And if you guys don't know, um, twice is just um, a K-pop group and they're really cool. And I also got these hang tags too from them. I have um, their last song from like a year or two ago, Feel Special, on here. And then um, just a generic large twice tag as well. Okay, so category number five is your most admired handbag and this one I kind of had a little bit of like a hard time figuring out like how to interpret um, this category just because I looked I looked up the definition for the word and I was like a little confused um so I looked at other people's video and how they interpreted this category um so I think one person said like a bag that you would just like constantly look at and um you know really love the appearance of so I think I'm gonna go with this bag here which is the pillow tabby um i feel like this is just a bag i can always look at and like play with and always just like wow this is really pretty um because it is so different and unique in my collection um as you can see it is just so cool because it's puffy and squishy and i feel like you've never seen a coach make a bag like this before um so i really love that and i also have this bag too in the color ivory and then like the pillow tabby 18 as well in the pale lime color and i feel like when i have all three of them together it just looks really cute um like a little pillow tabby family um so yeah this is my most admired handbag Category number six is going to be your most sentimental bag. And I think I'm going to give that title to this bag here, which is the Parker Shoulder Bag in Black with Brass Hardware. And this is also the older model too that I have this bag in. So what I mean by that is that the grommets on the top, as you can see, are very flat. On the newer models of the Parker Shoulder Bags, they are a little bit more curved. And then on the inside too, you'll notice a slight difference on the um, zipper section of the bag here it is just a smaller zipper tab and just um, microfiber on the original models they did have a little bit of leather on top like so and then the larger zipper pull and then besides the details of the bag um, what makes this really like sentimental for me is that this was the bag I took with me to my first ever visit to New York City um, and it has a lot of like memories attached to it um, I also did take this bag to the Coach flagship store too on Fifth Avenue um, Coach House and got it embroidered as well. Not embroidered, sorry, um, embellished too with um, the Coach Create. So on the flap here, as you can see, I got the Prairie Rivets um, embellishment on the front. And my thinking at the time was that I wanted this bag to have both silver and brass hardware to use it um, 
like very easily so I didn't have to care about matching my jewelry which honestly all I had was just like these two gold bracelets I thought I would get a silver one but I clearly didn't so I decided to go with um the silver um rivets on the front of the bag and then the red stones just because I thought it looked really cute um as like a little pop of color um I mean I did that ever happen like did I ever have any silver jewelry to match no but I think it does look really cool to have that like mixed metal look so it's so cute and then you'll also notice too I do have some hang tags hanging off the sides of this bag so I have these two New York skyline hang tags here I had one done in pink with black and then I also have this one too which is the chalk and the black outline um so I got those done when I got this bag um customized and then this is my newest tag here which is um one I got done earlier this year um my friends and I went to New York City together for like a girls trip and it was really fun and as you can see um I got a hang tag done with all of our initials and I was trying to figure out like um like what to do like how to arrange our initials together so it'd be like I don't know, cute. So uh, my friend Seymour was like, uh, I guess we just call ourselves Jabs. So this is what we landed on. Um, and I did it in a really light blue color. And then I have a little heart to, um, to commemorate our friendship. So yeah, I can always carry our friendship around with me because um, I am that lame. So yeah, it's fine. So yeah, there's that. So category number seven is going to be your most ladylike handbag and for me I was really thinking of a bag that is like really chic and elegant but also with like a slight granny feel um and so if you took those three words together and mix them in a pot I feel like you would get this bag right here which is the coach frame bag um satchel I feel like what makes this bag really ladylike too is definitely the um kiss lock closure on top um, I feel like this is one of the only coach bags that they've ever designed with a very large kiss lock frame like this. Um, so you have your kiss lock closure on top like so, and then you just do that to open the bag. Um, and then you can see that it does open pretty wide as well, which is really nice. Um, it's lined in oxblood leather. You have a little zip pocket and a slip pocket in the back. Um, I just have the crossbody strap tossed in here, but as you can see, it is really roomy and spacious. And then the other thing too that I love about this bag is the satisfying sound that it makes when you close it. Like, uh, that loud clanking sound is just like music to my ears. Um, I don't know why, but I just love it. So, yep, there's that bag. So now we're on category number eight, um, which is the second to last category and is going to be your most practical bag. And for me, um, what makes a bag super practical is that it's really easy to style. Um, it has a lot of different like options to carry the bag. So crossbody, top handle, and the cup your arm over the shoulder, X, Y, and Z, yada, yada. Um, and also capacity too. I feel like for me, a really practical bag isn't a bag that's like super huge, um, but also not like super tiny either. So I landed on this bag here, which is the field tote in like the regular size. Um, and I also chose this one too, which is the um, brown horse and carriage print. And then I just have my initials monogrammed on the front. And I feel like what makes this bag super practical is um, definitely the different options that you have to carry this bag. Um, so as you can see, the bag does come with top handles as well. And I love to carry the bag, usually top handle. Um, but you do get this really comfortable fabric crossbody strap as well. So I have it short because I usually carry it um, more as a shoulder bag um, like this. But I also um, like to carry it crossbody sometimes too. So you can definitely adjust it and make it crossbody. Um, and the other thing is that it is also removable as well. So if you didn't want to use the fabric strap and use something different, you can definitely remove um, the fabric strap like so and carry it with like a different bag strap. Um, but overall, it is a really great bag. And I love the um, one compartment too inside of this bag. Um, so it's really easy just to throw items in and you don't really have to think too much about um, like playing Tetris and organizing your bag um, just because it is one large open compartment. And the lining is microfiber on the inside of this bag. And then the last thing too definitely is the material that the tote is made of on the exterior. Um, the canvas itself is super durable resistant. So if it does get rained on, um, the water literally just falls right off. Um, so yeah, this is my most practical bag in my collection.
Okay, so the last category is your splurge purchase. And I feel like this bag right here is definitely a splurge handbag for me. Um, I got this bag earlier this year for my birthday and it is the Alley Shoulder Bag in Ring Lizard. Um, so the entire bag itself is designed in um, Ring Lizard and is like on the strap, the sides and everything. And then on the inside too is lined in ox blood leather. Um, the hang tag I took off and just put in here, but it is also even in like the ring lizard material as well, which is so cool. What makes this bag feel like a very like splurge purchase in my head? Number one is definitely the timing of this bag. Um, I got this bag around my birthday this year, and I don't know, like I feel like anytime you buy something on your birthday it just kind of feels like a splurge but then like it's just a normal day in your life at the same time you know what I mean um so I don't know I feel like getting this bag around my birthday just felt very splurge like even though it was just like a normal day in my life you know what I mean so um anywho yeah I, that is number like the one reason why I feel like this bag is definitely like a splurge purchase and then the other thing too is definitely the material of the bag I feel like this ring lizard is just really cool and different and just kind of wild because it is a you know exotic leather um and I don't know I never would expect to own like an exotic leather handbag from coach so that just feels very splurgy as well um so yeah those are like the two reasons why I feel like this bag is my splurge purchase Okay, so does it for today's tag video hopefully you guys found this video um entertaining i know it's a little bit different from what i usually do um but if you guys do want to see more videos like this just leave a comment down below and like any suggestions you have or you can also message me on instagram as well um i will happily do them since i know like all i do on here is just like hauls and reviews um so if you guys want to see like something a little bit different just let me know and i will happily try it to do it um but i also tag my two friends as well amy elizabeth and also agent bag review as well and i will leave their um channels down below and then i'll also leave the original tag video as well um underneath in the description so yeah hopefully you guys found this video um entertaining and if you liked it please do consider liking and subscribing and then you can also follow me on instagram too for more purse stuff um, but yeah, also, if you have any questions about the items, just leave a comment down below or message me too, and I can try to answer them that way. Um, but other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day.